In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Yesterday we talked about the importance of purchasing and reading the Diary of St. Faustina, Diary of Mercy in My Soul. We spoke also about the importance of this beautiful image. You see the image of Jesus there. This is the image of Divine Mercy. We can see if you look at his face, his face is very inviting. A face that invites us to have great trust and confidence in him. He's dressed in a white tunic. And that's symbolic of the purity that we're all called to. As our Lord said in the Beatitudes, Blessed are the pure of heart, for they will see God. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Then, uh, from where you are, you really can't see too much of it, but the fact that our Lord has his wounds in his hands and his feet, that's symbolic of the resurrected Lord. Resurrected Lord, you see the wounds in his hands and in his feet. You can see he's pointing to his heart. Well, with respect to the classical sacred heart of Jesus' image of St. Margaret Mary Le Cook, the heart is outside the body. Whereas in this one, it's inside. From the heart is emanating two rays of light. You have the white ray of light and then the red. The white ray of light is symbolic of two sacraments. The sacrament of baptism which washes away original sin. Then you have the sacrament of confession, which forgives our sins after we have been baptized. And then you have the red rays. And that's another sacrament. It's the greatest of all sacraments. That sacrament is the most holy Eucharist, the body the blood, the soul, and the divinity of Jesus Christ. Then if you uh, look at the very bottom of the page, you can see those few words that Jesus wanted to be written, uh, be painted below. Those words are, Jesus, I trust in you. So, as we explain to you the whole meaning of Divine Mercy in my soul, the devotion to Divine Mercy through St. Faustina, who is the Secretary of Divine Mercy, we invite all of you to, to purchase a beautiful image of Divine Mercy and have it enthroned in your homes. This will be symbolic that you want the King of Mercy to reign in your homes, in your hearts, and in your families, and in your lives. Amen.